The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And the things that I have covered um, in the last 40 years, uh, I would say this is top five, maybe number two, and um, possibly number one in importance. Number one is clearly the World Trade Center bombing. But because, and I want you to, I want you to listen to me carefully here for the next 20 minutes. This is very, very important. What we do going forward from here will determine the fate of our nation. Make no mistake, this story is number two because of what I know. What we do will make this the most important story um, of our lifetime. What, what's happening now is very important. What happens in the aftermath will make it the most important because it will either save our country or we will be done. So let me just say this to those at the highest echelons of government that know the tagging system. They know all about events, not files, events. Let me send this message very clear. We know who this Saudi national is. And it is in your best interest and in the best interest of integrity and trust for the, uh, the people of the United States of America. It's best coming from you, not coming from a news organization. It's best coming from you. You have until Monday. We have information on who this man is. And listen to me carefully in your little event world. We know he is a very bad, bad, bad man. I know that doesn't make any sense to you right now, but on Monday... It will. It makes sense to somebody in Washington. I don't bluff. I make promises. The truth matters. I've had enough of what you've done to our country. I thought I had heard and seen it all. I thought I didn't trust my government. Oh, no. No, no. There is no depth that these people will not stoop to. They have until Monday. And then the blaze will expose it. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.